Hello traders, I uh, just got to pick up on the theme of weekly pivots again. This is the fibs on the Dow futures, so that's the drop, that's the 50% pullback, and there's the drop into that zone there, this 76.4%. Uh, so nice neat move, if we get another move up into this area here tomorrow, then um, and this fails, then that could come tumbling. However, if we just move sideways into next week, we may be able to pick up, but um, at the moment the trend is definitely down. And let's look at the daily on the Dow, stay on the subject of the Dow, and you can see. <coughs> That uh, yeah, this week we failed at the weekly pivot itself, around about the 15,000 mark, down to 40,770 area. Couple of higher closes, but we can't break through that S1 and topping tails here. So some other couple of other things to note on this daily chart: we've got divergent RSI. Two higher closes, but we can't close above that period. So I still think this will, will roll over. Um, yeah, nice topping tails. This 900 level was quite crucial. We can't close above that. Uh, however, the RSI is low, so it's always riskier. Um, shorting when you've got low RSI. So I would, I mean, tomorrow's Friday. I would just sit tight. I'm, I'm not doing anything tomorrow. In fact, I'm not around for the US session even anyway. Um, so let's look across to Forex. This is the pound US dollar on a 60 minute chart. What I've done is I've just marked off the key entry levels. This was the weekly pivot here on Monday. In the US session, we sold off and hit the S1. We moved into resistance and dropped down to S2. We moved back to resistance and we just spent the day just doing next to nothing around this S1. Okay, so all the time we're holding S1, we stand a chance of moving up. But if we now look at this one on the daily, so I actually stay here and just look at this. What do I think is going to happen next? Um, I think we might get one last chance to bump into that 540, at which point I think we might drop. And come out of that. If we look at the weekly, obviously this weekly is not closed yet. Let's have a look at where we are in relation to the weekly. It's only a reversal bar up there anyway. So if we start closing below 15155, sorry, uh, then that could see us drop down here into the coming weeks on the daily. Really sideways bottom, you know, we're just inching lower. So, I mean, over the last uh, six, seven days, we've only come down from 15685 to a lower 154. So, very, very slow. I mean, you see, normally, on um, when you get a lot of downtrending, I mean, downtrending comes down about three times faster than we go up. So, this time span here is a lot shorter than this time span here. So it's, um, if we start breaking down here, then I would expect that to drop quite hard. But at the moment, you know, this, like I said, this S1 is holding. There's S, there's the weekly S3. Any selling tomorrow could see that coming down there. But um, you know, Friday, a uh, very slow week on the pound US dollar. So not expecting anything drastic. But um, who knows? Uh, I would start shorting one five three thirty six. And put your stop just above there, 15556. So a very, very tight stop. 
if that does drop and uh, I mean certainly no sign of any reversals whatsoever there plenty of scope in the RSI to come down so I, I think that's a good trade in fact so much so I need to put uh, well, actually I'm not going to be at no point in me putting alarm in because I'm not going to be able to trade it okay let's move on and look at the euro this is the euro on the daily the two heavy days of selling you can see this level of resistance up here in fact I've, I've missed this and um, slightly annoyed myself for missing that because that is a lovely triangle failure there but still time because uh, if we get a pullback to 133 then we could find ourselves coming down to well there's the weekly S3 13150 so any pullback to 133 I would short the euro this is the US dollar CAD, I have to say I didn't manage this very well today uh, I did get long this and took a small loss on it because I had a very poor stop management and so I was way too tight a stop on this and too impatient uh, and sat there with a small loss rather than taking this gain because uh, that's a lovely nice stopping bar so we've not even touched the weekly pivot here so that to me is that is if you can get 105 great but that looks to me as if we're going to 106 again that's a tight stop because you only need to go under let's have a look so 105.12 is the entry and 104.70 is the stop because that to me is uh, you know, we have one leg up here, we're in the second leg up here off the back. Very nice W pattern. Very, very nice W pattern. Okay, and that's a uh, higher low there. We've got all that resistance at 106. Okay, uh, let's look at oil lovely reversal almost touched R3 didn't get there and we ended up at 102 so uh, most of that drop was in the last um, couple of hours in the before the pit close so where are we with oil let's have a look Um, let's drop down to a 60 minute chart so you can see I mean, it's been reacting to the wiki pivots really really well there's the R2 up there so it didn't quite get to R3 dropped down almost to R1 back up to R2 and now we've closed under R1 so oil is a short at 108.50 uh, but because the RSI is so low and because of the way this market is I would just steer clear of any short and um, but if we get any movement down to yeah this is what I talked about before 107.35 area uh, we drop down to that and hold tomorrow I, will, I would look for a buy but um, don't give it too much room. I wouldn't give it much more than about 50 points, absolute maximum, if you're swing trading that. But that to me is a good option because this is basically in a very strong uptrend. Uh, but now, obviously, we're facing a shooting star up there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm effectively testing that. So that is st still. Um, you know, we come down here and test that 107 and hold. I would see that going back up to the highs. You know, I think we've broken up through the trend line and come back to kiss it. We'll probably drift on the drip, drop underneath it, 10690 area, and then I would suggest that could go back to the highs because I'm seeing that as a bull flag.
Okay, so stay tuned for that one. I'm just going to take a look at a couple of stocks now. Rolls Royce has it came off this major support very, very well. So it's a new low in this range and a close above. So that's a very bullish signal there. It's a very, very bullish signal. If you're not in rolls, this could be a good opportunity. If we see uh, 11 oh, well, I think you'd be lucky to get 11.10 there. I think that's a buy to see if, because uh, that new low close above next day is a good reversal signal. General, um, that's a major support, weekly S1, um, yeah, S1, but no sign of changing, so stay out of that one. Dono Pizzas had a good week. Been looking at this one for a while. I am in this. Good seasonal stock. That was a very, very good level of support down there. And if we can get, yeah, we're through this 570. So I think that's got legs to um, possibly, you know, over a period of time get back to 700. Barclays I've been looking at. That's moving sideways. Cool, very flat, very, very flat. It's got a rights issue hanging over it. Um, let's see how these US stocks are faring. Um, this is Apple, this is fairly typical. I just looked at Bank of America and a few others, they're all pretty much doing the same. Um, they're holding up. So we had good GDP levels on in the US today, so um, that's faring well. Uh, data tomorrow, we've got some relatively minor UK and Europe Euro stuff in the morning. Uh, all expected to be pretty good or reasonable. Uh, and then Canadian GDP, US. So not not a lot. Um, not a lot, and US, see that CAD GDP, if you're interested in the US dollar CAD, um, because CAD is looking to be a weaker figure, so that could really weaken the CAD and send the, send the US CAD much higher. So if you see a pullback in the morning, it might be worth trying to get in on that, to see if you can get a buffer before that data. All right. I'll leave it there and um, I will now not see you until the weekend review. Alright, bye for now.